Hello. I haven't posted an update in a bit. Um, I was one week into eliminating my food sensitivities. I think I went over a week, which I was pretty proud of because other than getting like Starbucks coffee a few times, which I added the sugar, but I didn't, but I got coconut milk. So I did a really good job of eliminating my food sensitivities, except, um, then like the middle of the second week, I got a shift last minute and I, um, I just didn't cook for myself and I just thought, oh, well, if I go in and grab Subway, that's going to take too long. So then I thought, okay, well, I can just have one cheat day. And then that turned into three days in a row because <laughs> the next day I did something with like friends and then, um, and then I just had a third day because I'm just, because like that was kind of what I was worried about is just that because restricting my food sensitivities, like because it is so restrictive doing that, like I can't have rice, soy, wheat, um, almonds and milk and peas and corn and the list just goes on and on and on. I was worried that being too restrictive would lead me to have like some binges or feeling really guilty and feeling like I want to puke and I think that those feelings definitely did come on but um um I'm back into it on day two and I just really need to go shopping I just don't have a lot of options right now it's like lentils and salads that's all I can really eat and I'm getting sick of it already <laughs> But there are other things, like the other day I found rye bread. It's pretty expensive and you have to eat it within like five days or something of opening the bag from Whole Foods. But it's like actual rye bread without all my food sensitivities, which is like really rare. So there are things, um, and there was that chickpea pasta that I got and... So yeah, there's a lot of op like good options out there. I just have to get some groceries this week and sorry, it's so dark. I tried my best. Um, I'm starting to feel good again though, like being on day two of eliminating. Um, except I have a mild headache today because I'm quitting coffee again. <laughs> But yeah, that's just my little update for now. I have an awesome salad to enjoy from Subway that I went to get <laughs> more salad. I just didn't, um, I'm like, you know, I only have so many dressings at home. I only have so many ingredients. So I'm like, I'm just going to get a Subway salad. And then this week I'll actually go shopping. But yeah, um... So it is too bad that I screwed up, but you know, like I said, I kind of have gone a year and a half of eliminating all my eating disorders. I gradually went from close to 300 pounds to, um, 260. So that's 40 pounds so far. And <laughs> you know, what's so crazy. I, um, the day that I was called into work, the day that I ate bad, like I was kind of just like, I lost a few pounds on the scale and then I was just sitting around the same weight for a few days because I probably, because I was restricting in my first week, I was consuming more like fruit and lentils and things like that to try to balance it out so I didn't feel like I was starving just so I could like make it through the first week and then start eating a bit more sensibly. But um, on the day that I went to work and ate all that crap, I, even at the end of the day when all that was, when I already, like, when I finished work and ate all that shit, I was down three pounds on the scale. <laughs> like, make it make sense. It doesn't, I guess it means I was just ready for a drop finally on the scale and then I ended up just eating batter. I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, I just thought that was funny. But I'm not feeling too hard on myself. Like, I'm pretty proud that I've been able to um, just 
demonstrate some self-control because I did have three bad days, but um, I think I'm about just about close to being two weeks total. So three bad days out of 14 days or whatever isn't the end of the world. It's about making it an overall lifestyle change. And there are going to be times where I'm just going to have to eat something that's not that, well, I don't have to, but there's those times where you're like with family, with friends or whatever occasions. And I kind of need to get out of the mindset that like, oh, it, cheating is inevitable. Like I should get in the mindset of preparing myself better so that I don't need to like feel hungry or feel like I'm missing out if I just bring stuff with me. Because I mean, it's literally like poisoning myself. Like there's all those side effects of eating your food sensitivities, which is not good for you long term. So um I do have to start switching over my way of thinking about it. Like, you know, food allergies like will possibly kill people while food sensitivities still cause damage. So people who have food allergies have to avoid those things. People with food sensitivities don't have to, I don't like, but they should. So I need to take it more seriously because otherwise it's like, well, what am I doing this for? Because it probably takes like quite a while for certain things to like exit the bloodstream and everything. So in order to get like the best um, results, I need to like make it more long term. And yeah, anyway, so my brain's all over the place about it. But overall feeling pretty good. I think my skin's... um clearing up a bit my gut is feeling pretty bloated I need to like balance things out a little better and get find more protein that I can have I have gone back to pescatarian so I don't eat meat but I should probably be eating meat on occasion it's just really tough it's like I don't want to eat things and then feel guilt so I don't know. I don't even like eating fish. It's just that if I didn't have that, well, then I'd really be screwed <laughs> because I, I just know that I would be consuming way too many carbs versus protein. But anyway, I'll uh, take a video of my delicious salad and <laughs> if anyone has questions about food sensitivities, I've made another video about it, but, um, if you're just tuning in for the first time, welcome, and I can meet you in the comments to answer anything. <laughs> and please like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you later.